The industrial city of Raslafan in Qatar, where gas is cooled to minus 160 degrees Celsius and turned into liquid. Docked at Raslafan port, a tanker is ready to deliver supplies to the world. Europe has been switching to liquefied natural gas, or LNG, since Russia invaded Ukraine last year. Europe committed to replacing about 155 billion cubic meters a year of what Russia was uh, sending to Europe before the invasion. And they wanted to replace about 100 billion cubic meters of that uh, by the end of 2022. By our estimates, we've seen they've been able to do that last year. And most of that replacement has come from uh, sourcing alternative uh, supplies of LNG. Qatar is the world's largest supplier of liquefied gas, exporting more than 81 million tonnes a year. That's around 21% of the global LNG export market. It's ramping up production in its north field. That's part of the world's biggest gas field. It's on track to produce 126 million tonnes per year by 2027. It's good news for countries like Germany that are trying to wean themselves off Russian gas. Qatar Energy, headquartered here in Doha, struck a deal last year with Germany to supply LNG. It agreed to export 2 million tonnes annually for at least 15 years from 2026. The deal will supply 2.7% of Germany's annual gas needs. It's a small percentage but sends an important message. Asia has long been Qatar's biggest export market for LNG, but now Qatar wants to supply more to Europe. The energy dilemmas which European countries face are extremely serious, and there is no denying that Qatar has certainly uh, been able to uh, leverage its uh, gas wealth to Doha's advantage throughout this conflict. The United States and Algeria are also supplying Europe with LNG, but as the continent seeks other suppliers, analysts say Qatar is likely to play an increasingly dominant role. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera, Doha.